You think I'd be used to that by now? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Here we are. The Girls' Night Out edition of Intense TV. I'm your host, Aaron Bauer, along with now my permanent co-host, The Duke. And Duke, we got a lot to talk about. We do, but before we get to Girls' Night Out 7, we would be remiss if we didn't quickly recap what happened at Absolution 7. Uh, we basically shut that chapter down and kicked it off with three brand new champions. Yeah, the new chapter begins, all new champions, the dawn of a new day, BJ Whitmer is the brand new Intense Division Champion, having defeated Bobby Beverly. That's true, the Batiri. Oh yeah. Weren't even supposed to be at Absolution 7. So Big surprise. They walk out with the Tag Team Championships after beating Euthanasia and Arrow Form. And of course, the big one, the Absolute Championship. Tim Dons. Changed hands, yeah, yeah, yeah. Tim Dons became our new Absolute Champion. Despite another surprise, because Shima Zion also yeah. showed up unannounced, made that match a four-way, and Tim Dons didn't even miss a beat, managed to beat three men to win that absolute championship. And not only that, uh, we're, we're closing that chapter, but also you're closing a chapter, Duke, true, on, your, on your active wrestling career. Uh, yeah, that's right. I, uh, I beat Jack Sampson in that big bull rope match that we had, and... Uh, you know, you can, you can buy the DVD when it comes out uh, and hear what I had to say about uh, why I did what I did, but um, the short version is I basically stepped off the roster. I've got now what we call the Jerry Lawler contract, which means I'm basically a commentator, but if I need to get back in the ring here and there, I can still do it. More than happy to do it, but uh, not going to be an every show thing, uh, giving somebody else a chance, somebody else an opportunity, because that's what you're supposed to do in wrestling, so I figured, why not now? Oh, and... And Duke, I, I do want to give you credit, give credit where credit's due. Uh, that was a tremendous match. Many people are calling it a show stealer. I saw it the same way. I had a great time calling it. And uh, I, I appreciate that. Good I, job. I'm not gonna say I'm not gonna say that. I'll let other people say that. Like I said, get the DVD not only for that, but for all the ridiculously incredible matches that were there. Briscoes, Irish Airborne, uh, the three title matches. You know, everything is just nuts. When it comes out, AIWrestling.com, you're going to want to pick up a copy. And now that we've closed the chapter on, on Absolution 7 there, the new chapter, Girls' Night Out 7, begins August 4th, Turner's Hall. Starting out ridiculously hard-hitting, crazy, a much-anticipated rematch from oh, yeah. all the way back from Girls' Night Out 2. These two still have issues. Sarah Del Rey, Haley Hatred for Girls' Night Out 7. Hey, and Duke, this has to be... Uh, this has to be one of the most anticipated rematches, like you said, but also, I got the scoop. And the scoop is, this is going to be one of Sarah Del Rey's final independent wrestling matches. Really? Oh, yeah. Right here, AIW. Now, you're usually right. You, you're floating around about 65, 64% on mm -hmm. your scoops. Mm -hmm. So, better than average, so you might be right. And if you are, I tip my imaginary hat to you. If he is right, you're definitely going to want to see this match. But what you can see right now, see, you would think we'd show you clips of Sarah DeRay and Haley Hatred from the match. Why not do that? No, no, no. Because we want you to whet your appetite with Sarah Del Rey versus Mickey Knuckles from a previous wow. Girls' Night Out yeah. to make you want to come see Haley Hatred and Sarah Del Rey tie up one more time. So let's go to clips from that right now, and we'll see you back in 2.2. Five, the main event, Mickey Knuckles versus Sam. I am here with Paul. Aaron Rodgers. That's right. I am here with him who donated to the Indiegogo campaign and now is guest commentating with me for the main event of this show. Are you totally fucking pumped up for this or what? Oh, I'm incredibly pumped up, Ricky. You know, they Good. say money can't buy you happiness, but uh, for $75, it's pretty close. That's pretty close. And this is like a legit 
crazy main event. No Mickey, doubt. Mickey Knuckles versus Sarah Del Rey. These two haven't wrestled each other since Mickey broke her leg in, I think, 2008. Snapped her femur in two. She has a steel rod and a bunch of screws holding her femur together. And these two have not wrestled since then. Very true. So this guy, he's done his homework already. Right. Looking like it's going to be a pretty clean contest between these two. Absolutely. Main event in any building. True. Anywhere in the country. I talked to Mickey earlier. She said, I told her that. I was very excited about this match. And she said that she's... All day yesterday was a little nervous, had butterflies in her stomach that this match was happening. She's been waiting for this match, she's been wanting this match and asking for this match, and now it is happening right here. Yes, it was before you were a big joke, a big goose like you are now. I mean, you're, you're on the same level as me. I even had to stoop so low as to break your leg to take out the competition. Oh, Sarah certainly has not forgotten. That was a wrong thing to say to Mickey. Definitely, and it doesn't take much for the crowd to turn on Sarah Dolly. Oh, she's trying to play dirty. Bert, some dirty tactics, some dirty pool. Mike Sarah Del Rey. Not going to work against Mickey Knuckles. Too smart for that. Sarah Del Rey might have made a tactical mistake, though. This Absolutely. definitely plays into Mickey Knuckles. It could be, but if there were any women that I'd want to get angry, Mickey Knuckles would be very low on that list. That's true. This is a main event. Girls have five. I can't believe there's been five of these. Did you just see that? Sarah Del Rey just grabbed her arm and yanked it right over the rope. That'll pull That'll pull an arm out of its socket. Del Rey. Did you, anybody want to tweet me? If you wanted to tweet me. No one's going to tweet you. Would you get out of here? God, at fair to air, we get it. At fair to air. At Ricky Champagne, Ricky with an E. Uh, Sarah is kicking the crap out of Mickey right now. That's true, yes. Get her off her game, and then she, you know, she obviously caught her off guard. I think so. Oh, wow. that was gross. That was absolutely. Taking a risk because she loves professional wrestling. That's true, and that's, that's something that you've got to give it up to Mickey Knuckles for, the love of professional wrestling. I met, first time I ever met Mickey was right after she broke her leg, and she was at uh, every show I've seen her at, helping set up the ring, hobbling you around. Like, stuff no, we don't. We don't I don't need you to say anything. Yeah. We got it. So this guy comes in here and he just he takes my spot. Absolutely, I'm gonna put this rope in the way she just landed. Delray's going right back to that arm. Oh! So many body parts at once in there. Knuckles Picked her up. I don't know if you want to toy with Mickey Knuckles for too long. You never sleep on people. You never want to sleep on anyone because they'll surprise you. You especially do not want to sleep on a champion as Sarah Del Rey is about to find out. Oh, powerbomb into the ropes there. What's she going for here? Is that a pump handle maybe? Going for that pump handle. This is what she beat Jessica Havoc for the title. Rolls through. Del Rey rolls through. Another Got cross arm breaker. Arm breaker. She's going to get that leg over, put extra pressure right down on the elbow joint, pulls on the shoulder. It looks like oh. she's using the box to her advantage. Mickey. Trying Mickey. to get the ropes. She's got the ropes. She's got a little headway. She gets her right back into it. That's a smart idea, though. Right into the clinch. Muay Thai knees right to the face. Off the ropes. There it is. That leg lift with that steel rod in her leg. Close line. Mickey's, Mickey's coming back now. Drop kick. got to work around him, man. you got to work around him. Whip reverse, sends Mickey in hard. Oh, rolling cop again. Right into the face. Rolls her again. Going for it again. Oh, right, right in the, the head. One more time. One more. Delray brings her out. Whips her. Oh, there it is. The Got her in that pump handle again. She's just wailing on her. Knuckles will not quit. Oh, power pump bomb. handle, power bomb. And That's three. Mickey Knuckles is your winner and still the AIW Women's Champion. I tell you, you saw those clips, man. Oh, Sarah yeah. Del Rey's the real deal. I, Haley's going to be in for a rough time, I think. I don't know. Well, you know what? Sarah was in for a rough time at the previous girls' night out when, when she wrestled Veda Scott. And yeah. Veda Scott completely disrespected the queen of wrestling. Which I don't get at all. I mean, I, I know she was at Absolution. She's apparently got some some managerial agreement or something with Greg. She's Ryan. a legal advisor she's to Greg. Okay, well. and, and I don't. She says she's not going to be a legal advisor at Girls Night Out Seven. She's going to be a competitor, but hopefully she'll bring Gregory Iron along for eye candy. You know, to kind of spice up the, the the Girls Night Out show a little bit. Dude, it's a girls show, and you want dudes there for eye candy? Well, you know, give something for the ladies to look at and. What better than, than Gregory Iron? So, I'll leave, I'll I'll leave, leave that, that judgment up to you. I don't know if he's going to be there or not, but 
But we know Veda Scott's going to be there, and she requested she requested to a match face. against Sarah Del Rey's tag team partner, Courtney Rush. And Courtney Rush is probably not going to be in that good of a mood because, as we found out last week, her and Sarah Del Rey actually lost this Shimmer Tag Team Championship up in Montreal at Femme Fatale. Oh, another scoop here. It was a screw job. <laughs> Okay, the Montreal screw job, get it? You're, you're down to about 58% right now. So, yeah, you might want to might want to refocus your efforts. Be that as it may, Veda Scott did ask for this match. In the office, apparently, I'm thinking maybe they don't want to rock the boat because you don't want to mess with legal advice. They, they're shady people. Nope. I'm going to tell you that right now. And they probably want to give her what she wants, keep her happy, and so she asked for the match she's got it. What we've got, we've got clips from Veda Scott versus Kimberly from a previous girls' night out. Yeah. Before she got all, you know, all up in everybody's business, disrespected hey. people with You can see that she had a chip on her shoulder then, but she's got an even bigger chip on her shoulder now. And it, and its name is Greg Iron. But Greg Iron is a chip now. Yeah, on her shoulder. We gotta go to the you're, you're starting to lose it. Clips. <laughs> go to clips. Go to clips. Scott and Kimberly, I'm pretty pumped about this match. Veda hot. And Kimberly. I don't think she would appreciate that. Oh, man. Yeah, I know, I know. But, yeah, sometimes you just got to call it like you see it. That's and true. I call it like I see it. Long been known as somebody who calls it like they see it. That is and a, I'm calling it like I see it. That is a damn line. When I see it, I call it like I see it or saw it. Veda Scott kicked her off right off of that or the Greco-Roman knuckle lock. Hey, and you know, Veda Scott, she's not only a fantastic wrestler, she just debuted as an ROH announcer backstage. That's true, she did. She's getting dropped right now by Kimberly, though. Kimberly, yeah, she's out of ship over there. Reverse the whip. Kimberly hangs on, comes in with the knee. Oh! oh, oh yeah. Veda Scott, right innovative. There. That's right. The London Tower, I'm pretty sure made famous by Lord Alfred Hayes. I'm busting it out tonight. Made, made, made even more famous, sir, by... So here we go. Made a guy with an Irish whip. Shoulder thrust. Oh, she's calling for one more. One wasn't good enough, she went for two. Oh, no. Should have done that. Yeah. Oh, all the way back around. Oh, oh. See, it's not a tarantula. It's a... What is it? I'm not exactly sure what that's called, to be honest with you. Well, you're an idiot, Ricochet. What? An idiot? If you were in it, you would have tapped out. That. Not true. Because I. Direction. <laughs> that's what they would call me. Oh, Inziguri, right to the mush. You know, oh. The auditions? I was just looking at them. Wow, okay. <laughs> they didn't know I have a password. Oh, clothesline off the side. Oh, the Eagle Boy clothesline. <laughs> you can follow Veda Scott at. It's Veda time on the Twitter. Oh my oh, god! Did you see that? Drop kick missile style! Yeah, do, do they like Kimberly or do they just dislike oh, Veda Scott? So that know. was awesome! Split jawbreaker! Hey, what? Oh, rolling cross jawbreaker! She's close to the ropes though! She's got the ropes, she's gonna have to break. Kicks her down. Look at Veda's got some moves! Hey! Oh shit! Happy Gilmore. That movie came out in 1997. Get over and it. And it was great. It was the last good movie Adam Sandler yeah. had. Oh, oh, there we go. Face yeah, driver. Right into the mat. That should be all. It's oh. really good, or they wouldn't be here. Yeah. Oh, chops. <laughs> and there's Veda. So the second. Up. And oh. Oh. The referee is catching oh, some Oh, spiked her on the top of her head. Yes, yes. And Veda Scott has her first win here in AIW. I gotta tell you, I, you can kind of see it there for a second. She's got, she's getting a little, getting a little out of control there. And that man, and then it kind of went over the top. Basically, you know, blowing off Sir Del Rey, which you, you just don't do, man. I mean, you don't do that. Well, you know what? What? 
Kimberly looked impressive. Sure she did. Kimberly looked very impressive. She did? She has looked impressive in, in both of her previous girls' night out Didn't win. Didn't win. Didn't win. Right, she did not win. So, maybe the third time's a charm. And I know that she's a favorite of our good friends, Mike and Tom, for Mike and Tom Presents. So you think maybe for them, she might actually pull it off this time? Is that what you're trying to say? I'm glory saying. glory of Mike and Tom, she might actually come through? I got a scoop. Oh boy. Kimberly okay. yeah. has told me personally okay. yeah. through several other people. Okay. But it didn't get back to me. Yeah, eventually. That she is dedicating this match against Melanie Cruz at Girls Night Out 7 to Mike and to Tom. Both of them? Yeah, of Mike and Tom Presents. This is a dedication three way. Yeah, yeah. Well, good for Mike and Tom. And, uh -huh. you know. Good for Kim, really. I hope you know. The last thing you want to do is let Mike and Tom down. Right, right. You know, uh, Melly yeah. Cruz, though. Melly Cruz is a real deal. She made her debut last Girls Night Out, and uh, she was impressive. She was oh impressive. Yeah, yeah, yeah. A lot of people were talking about a lot of buzz generated about Melanie Cruz. Can he and, and the impact. Well, yeah, yeah, yeah. She has an impact. I got here's a real big, a real big scoop on Melanie Cruz. And I, oh, what is that? What? Oh, okay. They're counting me down because we have to go to commercials right now. So tell let's me, go to the couple of the commercials. Tell yeah, I'll, I'll tell you. Oh, there's lots of tell too about Melanie Cruz. Commercials, man. Ooh, ooh. You know how it goes. Yeah, let's pay them bills. Hey there, wrestling fans. I'm Kimberly, and if you would like to buy a DVD with me on it, go to AIWrestling.com. events as Girls Night Out. If you would like to purchase any of the fine material that AIW has to offer, such as Girls Night Out, you can go to AIWrestling.com. And we're back from yes, commercial are, here yes. at Girls Night Out, Intense TV. It's ridiculous. Crazy. Yes, we're ready to go. We've got the entire card for you. It's all been released. And I think you're going to want to know what you're going to see at Turner's Hall August 4th. Am I right? Oh, everybody's going to want to know. They they may already know, but we got to give we'll you the you official. Again. We'll tell you again. The official rundown. So I'm going to start right off and I'm going to tell you, Veda Scott is going to be in the building 
and she's going to be taking on Courtney Rush at Girls Night Out 7. I don't know about Beta Scott. I'm, she's kind of turned me off with all this, with all this attitude, but that's okay. That's her prerogative. That's just one match. Another match we've got, we've got, as we mentioned, Melanie Cruz taking on Kimberly. Kimberly's third time, Melanie Cruz's second time. They're going to butt heads at Girls Night Out 7. It's going to be intense. Rematch from Girls Night Out 2. The queen of wrestling, and quite possibly her final independent wrestling he appearance. Must be true if he says it. It's going to be Sarah Del Rey versus Haley Hatred. That's right, that's right. Not only that, we've got basically the fans wanted to see Athena at Girls Night Out, financed through AIW's Indiegogo account. Athena will be at Girls Night Out 7 taking on Cherry Bomb. Oh, 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 oh. that's going to be exciting. I can't wait for this. See, fans, they ask for stuff. And what, and what do they do? They make it happen. AEW makes it happen. Anything it's that happen. simple. It's that simple. Not even that. They also asked, they said, we want to see... What? Are you... Go ahead. Go ahead. Oh, what? what do they want to see? They want... Will you stop? I'm trying to do a show here. You're killing me. They asked, they wanted to see the Peacock of Destruction, Trash Cassidy, after she showed up at a previous Girls Night Out. They wanted to see Thunder Kitty jump in that DeLorean from the 1950s and Back to the Future up here in 2012. I don't know if you've ever seen Thunder Kitty. She's a... Uh, I've seen she's, girls. She's, she's a bit of a throwback, but the fans wanted them. Those two head-to-head -head girls in outside. See, you just ask them. There it is. <laughs> All right. Yes, there it is. We also got the first ever tag team match. The first tag team contest in Girls Night Out history as, as Sammy G. She's been asking. Not only did the fans oh, ask, yeah. Sammy G's been begging Tweeting, calling, pleading. She wanted the tag match. She's got her client, Annie Social, and they, they scoured the world for a tag team partner for her. The whole world, and they came up with a really good one. Nikki St. John is going to be at Girls Night Out 7. In this tag team contest, they're going to be taking on the team of Angel Dust, and one of your favorites. And? Go ahead. Okay, okay, I'll tell you, Miss Heidi. Miss Heidi. Your all time favorite. I'm telling you, speaking of asking, I actually put in with the office. I said, hey, since I'm not on the active wrestling anymore, you think maybe I could referee this match? Yeah. How do you, I haven't heard back from him yet. How, how, how do you get into the office? How do you talk to them? I, they never return my calls or anything. I Can you blame them? Well, anyway, we, we got. We that got, would be a no, folks. Uh, uh, uh. <laughs> That's not all. We've did got you even, talk about Melanie Cruz? I did talk about Melanie Cruz. Did you talk about Kimberly? I did talk about Kimberly. Ah, <laughs> they're going to be calling that. What I was going to talk about was I was going to talk about Leah Von Dutch oh. and Sassy Stephanie. The debut of Leah Von Dutch. That's all the way from Canada. And Flexer Industries' own Sassy Steph. Well, we saw that her and uh, uh, her and Allison K got a little got a little into it at the last girls' night out of bed. That's because Allison K sent Flexer to the you know to the showers. Figured I figured. heard a Flexer. My sources, which are pretty reliable, tell me the scoop on that is is that that Chess Flexer decided that he wanted somebody new in his life. He wanted somebody a little hotter than Allison K. He wanted somebody a little nicer than Allison K. And he settled on Sassy Step. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay, well, you know, I'm not here to judge Flexer's taste in women. I'm here to run down a wrestling card. And we've got even more. We've got the fiance of Madman Pondo, oh. back yet again, uh, 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 Crazy Mary Dobson. Oh, she's so crazy. She's crazy. She's crazy. Taking on, cray cray. Taking on not little naughty, but lil. Little. L apostrophe I L naughty. Lil naughty. Girls, the debut of Lil Naughty. The debut. Taking on, you know, it'll be interesting to see how potential married life, if that's calmed to Crazy Mary down at all. It's going to be a Crazy married life. For Crazy Mary Dobson. You would know about Crazy That's Mary right. Life. That's yeah, sure. seven of them. <laughs> <laughs> well, We've got one more match. The main event. No, no, no. The main event of all main events. It is, for the first time in a girls' night out, a steel cage main event. Allison K. Media. For the absolute intense wrestling women's championship. We're talking a steel cage. When's the last time you've seen an all-women steel cage match? And this this is the third time now that Allison K and Medium have met inside an AIW ring. And, you know, I think we should probably just show 
both matches. No, 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 hold on, hold on, hold on. Allison K requested this because, as you saw during their Anything Goes Fans Bring the Weapons match. Oh, they uh, brought some uh, weapons, all right. At Girls Night Out 6, Chess Flexer got involved, the Chad got involved, Allison K told him she didn't want them involved. That's right, get out. So now, to make sure nobody else can get involved in their match, the cage has been constructed. Already? It's already up? Oh, it's been constructed. They've made it. They've welded it. They've built it. They've taken their time. And it's going to happen on August 4th at Turner's Hall in Cleveland, Ohio. Absolute Intense Wrestling presents Girls' Night Out 7. Now, as I said before I was not so rudely interrupted, I think we should show everybody the history Allison K versus me so they can understand exactly why this match is in. See, people don't understand a lot of times why they have steel cage matches. You did a good job of explaining it, but there's some people out there that you know don't get you, and I can't really blame them for that. So I think if they see it, they'll understand why these two are going to be locked inside of a steel cage. So let, why don't we just go ahead and uh, show everybody that? Let's show them the clips. Main event time. Very excited. The uh, the hype, the tweets, the podcasts, the hate has come down to this: an unsanctioned fans bring the weapons match for the AIW Women's Championship. These two women do not like each other. I don't even know that they respect each other anymore. They both used to be in Flexer Industries, but uh. <laughs> Pardon the interruption. Did you think we were really gonna give away that match for free? Yes. I don't give nothing away for free. Well, this is not your show anymore. This yeah. is our show, and I give stuff away for free, just not right now. So if you want to see me and him, Allison K2, you're gonna want to tune in Friday, August 3rd, on AI Wrestling's YouTube channel. What? We're gonna we're gonna put that on Twitter. That link. We're gonna put it on I, Facebook. Hey, do I don't have. Yeah, that you don't. I scooped you. This is what I do now, son. I'm a broadcast journalist. I got peeps. I can track down information when I need to. That's where you're going to find it on, like I said, our YouTube channel, Friday, August 3rd, 24 hours for free. Wow. Well, That's we, can give, we can give everything away for free, right? No, I'm not giving everything. Just okay, because we've got DVDs on sale. $5 DVD sale. Shop at wrestling.com. I mean, they're only $5. But more importantly, what I'm not giving away for free, what I need you to buy is tickets for August 4th, Girls Night Out 7, Cleveland, Ohio, Turner's Hall. You okay? Yes. You're fired up. Yes. I don't even think you... Well, you can't be giving stuff away for free. I get all nervous and... I would think free is right up your alley. No, no, no. We got to charge people for things. That's why we do commercials. That's why... But look... So, I'll tell you what. We'll hook it up with the office where you have to buy tickets now to every show. Okay, can I... To get in. Can I borrow... 15 bucks. 15 minutes. We'll talk about that later. We'll drop some papers. We'll drop some papers. Before we go, we want to give a shout out to some friends of ours. Because hey, I'm all over the podcast. I've been doing podcasts. I'm a media mogul now. We got the Girls Who Podcast. Duke, got hook you up. I'll get you on a couple podcast. of new podcasts. All right. I got one right up your alley. Pantsless Radio. Don't use the word pantsless and up my alley in the same sense. All right? Yeah, I think we like that, you know? We all but know you're a big fan of pantsless. We got, we got pantsless radio that we like to talk about. We, our good friends, Mike and Tom Presents, we talked about that right. before. Good friends, A1 Wrestling Podcast. They, Pro Wrestling Pottery's Podcast. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. They're a big one, too. I mean, uh, Things That it Says, that's uh, the People's Podcast. And one more person that we want to thank. We want to thank Dave Prezak with Shimmer. Dave, I'll get you that trans. You know, from Traxler. No, he's not going to get that. <laughs> <laughs> you still work for him, man. <laughs> I'm going to watch it. It's like blood from a turnip. Anyway, that's a whole other topic for maybe on the podcast we'll discuss that. What we're talking about now, Girls Night Out 7, Cleveland, Ohio, Turner's Hall, Saturday, August 4th, $15 to see. Potentially, Sarah Del Rey's final indie appearance. 
Oh, you're, you're going to see the debut of Leah Von Dutch. We're going to see the debut of Thunder Kitty, which I'm looking forward to. We're going to see the first ever tag match in Girls' Night Out history. We're going to see... get a little Melanie Cruz. We're going to get a little Kimberly. We're going to get a little Hatred. We're going to get a little Hatred. Well, she probably be there as well. Right, well, Haley's going back to Japan, so it could be one of the last times you see Haley, too. And to top it off, inside a steel cage for the third time, Allison K, Mia Yim. This show is one you are not going to want to miss. Again, AIWrestling.com, $15 to witness one of the best women's wrestling shows you'll ever see. AI Wrestling, he'll be there. I'll be there. I'll be there. He's going to be there. You should be there too.